I'm from you lunching like and why you siced from don't lose a fight you ain't starting come home not expecting another one I'm from charcoal scented summers and whiskey breath evenings when the wind stumbles on its way to the next barbecue from okra and kalaloo bubbling in a pot next to curry goat and stewed oxtail I'm from electric slide lessons in the living room and dad snatching mom by the stove to slow dance to the whispers. Get it? I wanted bananas, a bunch of them, spooned body to body like small yellow kayaks. So I miss what you said about the war in Libya. When you say Gaddafi, I think of how they spoil if they sit too long on their wicker thrones. We're in my car listening to WTOP. We pass the Spanish market that calls what I love platanos. Just saying plata, my tongue snaps like the slingshot's elastic strip, hurling A's like stones. You complain about the weak radio signal. I could nod and punctuate your frustrations with hums as if I'm listening, as if my head weren't full of hunger's SOS. I could pretend that the radio static is annoying, as if the sizzling sound it makes doesn't have me thinking of sweet, chunky rumba slices frying in my mother's skillet, or plantains boiled whole with dashing dumplings and potatoes to eat with saltfish and coconut bake, plates and plates of large bananas, edible boomerangs, nature's golden sugar-filled tusk, the moon's waning frown or waxing smile. That's Alan King right there. Benny, I see you, you up at the mic. All right. Because you saw Alan drop two, ge two, two, two gems. He was like, what? Well, two in a row? Two in a row? No. <laughs> That ain't fair. <laughs> Let's do it. So I'm a. Um, this is a piece. Um, What's this book you're holding? This is actually a anthology um, published by the Northern Virginia um, Northern Virginia Community College, um, and it's a poetry collection of various artists throughout Northern Virginia, even some outside of Northern Virginia. What's it called? And it is called the Northern Virginia Review. I'm showing it like we're on TV. <laughs> we are TV uh, right there. Tune in and watch. <laughs> the Northern Virginia Review. This is the 32nd volume, um, but it's also short stories, poems, and prose. And I was honored by um, having my work selected, um, a couple of pieces selected. So I'm going to read those. Dope. All right. You can play some. I'll read over some music. <laughs> always thought babies came from dancing. I owned every corduroy pants that I could hold. They called me Firestarter. I ran the fastest on our street. I had the biggest afro. I knew all the latest dance steps from the WAP to the Cabbage Patch. I had game at football. My new Pumas were hand-me-downs, but they were still fresh. I saw Beach Street six times, Electric Boogaloo twice, and I knew every word of my radio by LL Cool J. I refereed every fight I instigated. I went to school with bloods that stapled cuffs into their khakis. I thought everybody had a coffee can full of cooking oil on their stovetop. I thought America was Al Green slapping us with his wells under a velvet love painting. I thought all little girls wore two tight ponytails with greasy sideburns. I thought everybody had ashy knees and played hide-and-seek under street lights using green utility boxes for home base. I thought I could go to the Olympics for kickball. I just knew everybody ate pickles with blow pops on the inside. I thought we all could sing and dance. I just knew everybody thought Isaac Hayes looked just like Santa Claus. My favorite Kool-Aid was the red kind. I thought everybody's pastor had a poem. I thought all little boys like little light-skinned girls with the good hair. I thought everybody had a little white boy for a best friend. I thought everybody put Lowry seasoning salt on popcorn. I thought this was America. I thought this was my hood. This is a place, a living body where the pulse beat is human. Prayers are coin tosses, a gamble for your own good, a quick score, a come up. This place has a metric sun, 
bringing order to chaos, moon to mouth resuscitation. Imagine this world slowed down so you could see the clouds become rain. We come from a place where the world starts over. The dolls have straight hair, braided in cornrows. Mothers evolve in this space, fathers invent new. Wills returning to the essence with swagger and fire. The churches are old, the white t-shirt is crisp, and the hustle is American. What we covet connects us. It shades us with liquor store signs and cigarette ashes. The lyrics in this place rhyme. They come from brevity. This place is infested with dice games, crying fiction over breaking dawns. The dusk has us bystanding beneath buildings that bend our thinking. In this place, anything is everything. Last is a dance step. Having is accomplishing. There's a neo bop in the step of the people. They want what the sun owes them, now and for forever. This place writes poems. It starts and finishes riots. It cries beads that dangle from new minds. This place is Dogon mythology, mud cloths and incense smoke. This place is retroactive, insistent, volatile, and whole at the same time. It cuts and slices, leaves backs heavy, embraces triumph. It lets children dream. It's old and young, pure to the taste of divinity. This place listens to what it hears. What you are, it's a mirror to who you are a window into the other side, a gateway passed through time and time again. What? But we can do the snap. You can snap. If you're, not, if you're driving, just Don't do one snap. snap. Yeah, one hand snap. One hand snap. Click your tongue. <laughs> you're just tuning in. That's Benny. He's here in the studio with Alan King. DJ Peace. Machete on the ones and ones. Benny, because Alan got two. You got, mm -hmm. you got a second one? Man, I... We can go all day. It's crazy. Machete was like, yo, you want me to play some beats? I was like, nah, it's poetry. They don't want no they don't want no beats. And you was like, yo, where my beats? Where my beats? You know, you <laughs> Okay. Oh man. What you got for that? That's mean. All right. This is dedicated to Quincy Troop, Tomas Riley, and Jason Olafemi. You will never learn to read. You will never learn to write. You will never see yourself in the sun. You will never love the color of your hands. Therefore, you will never learn to live. I'm gonna approach this like MC, check it. <laughs> Knuckles carve mercury open. Wiry Nautilus to arrow shot across neon arms that grab little miracles for the sun. And pressures of pressure react to Sambo. His naps represent earth. His lips puck a sweet to suck vertical back to horizontal. He shaves horizons with fingers merry and arms. They wear to moonshine shots, staggering in metronome. On beat with the offbeat, dancing to a skin tone. That blue, black, midnight, blue trip to oblivia. His shadows protest, we shall not be moved. Irony, it's all movement. Triggers, buck tablets into the dank air. Shout outs with evolution, whole decades decay. Ash to matter from dying to living in a matter of matter. Fact, tradition, track, color, fiction. Fathers in his poem, mothers in his sentence. Blues belly up at his feet. He's a maker of eyes, fate, and dreams. Giving every word a heartbeat, every lament a Context, poverty is kingdom, all things reverse, death first, then life, majesty, magma, boiling of flesh, to comrade distance in his breath, millenniums in step, God's violence in his chest, a modern element of elephants, stomping like elephants, his blues medicine, his poems medicine, his journeys medicine, trying to carve himself into a world with elliptical art warfare, in the midst of wars unfair, with bluey visions, with blurry visions beneath the trees despair, scat sporadic texts that lynch throats, is sacrificed in the name of the nameless with above as the beginning trees draped locked into the sambos of nappy trilogies he jumped from the second trees became hers for his hymns he sang hers for his hymns blessing a child that dies for life with symbols in sanskrit with the god of foley fufu and quotes of war knuckles he's an ancient poet an altar poet knees to earth transfixed god poet imagine malcolm x is a saxophone player he does this waters make us come down and sideways we are that ugly beauty Using men for colonnade, curve for straight, mystic aqua men swimming in chocolate, a son of a Negro League drum at one with the wings of wizardry. His hands are ghosts across those turntables, breaking atoms and breaking atom bombs into tongues, sketching landscapes of pan fire into pan Africanism beneath cradle life forms of Rasta Shin in script with, with, with these blue blooded funk doctors transcribed into the guts of invisible guitars using the alias name Negro. 
for the wading of water is what it is, and it does what sweat does. It frames with life paints. It imagines Coltrane as an MC. It imagines Coltrane as an MC born in the womb, lived by heart, awaiting his trajectory by God, by future, by freedom, by love. Because if Coltrane was an MC, the word B-boy would stand for Bop Boy. Combing the bargain bin, a woman who's not your wife brushes beside you asking if the Roy Hargrove CD you're holding is any good. She's close enough for you to smell her ginger patchouli body wash, the angle she gives you in her leather bomber jacket, the one unzipped showing a white tee retracing her athletic stomach and arms, the jacket with its collar flared, makes her a bright blossom booming its honeydew scented tune along her neckline. And your father's voice from two decades before warns you about gorging on everything you see. You were 16 the first time he told you when your hunger hovered like that summer at Myrtle Beach, sisters strutting the boardwalk beneath the honey barbecue sun whose sweet light made each of them a long stretch of marinade, a chromatic scale of flavors along which your tongue was burning to play. And isn't temptation always lurking, eager to hold our common sense hostage? You tell the flower woman you're married after she points to a flyer for a Roots show and says y'all should go. When she says, are you happy? You remember a brother once asking how you could love one woman when the world's a buffet, the possibilities of pleasure laid out like jumbo crab cakes, lasagna rolls, and buffalo wings. What's gluttony if not a symptom of our own hunger consuming us? Wasn't Jack as careless selling his sustenance for a handful of beans? <clears throat> you remember the story of the stalk that almost made him a hungry giant's grub. You still hear the pastor preaching about gluttons wearing the rags of drowsiness, which is how your wife found you stumbling through the days. Your life before her was a stringless violin, a dark garden of wilted sunflowers, a camper trailer rusting against a moldy brick wall. You were once a city of power lines, boarded up clock towers, junked cars, and blazing drum barrel fires. What she saw in you, only her heart knows. Just like it knew you'd leave the temptress back at the listening booth, watching the automatic doors close behind you. At 16, you thought all there was to living was filling your appetite. Too young to know love is the everyday meal, that the lack of it kills quicker than the absence of food. Alan King. Let me get that, let me get that double snap. Let me get that double snap. So, uh, if you're interested in seeing more Alan, he's going to be performing at the Austrian Embassy on Monday, uh, November the 5th, along with Raquel Brown and an Austrian Slam champion. Um, totally free. Uh, information on Eventbrite. Feel free to just look up Austrian Embassy. Free Out of curiosity, because, Alan, I know you said this isn't your first trip to BFW. How, and I know that it's not the only station you listen to because I was listening to your poetry. But I wonder what you think about the value of this kind of a platform um, for the DMV and for the world since it's available on the internet. So I you got to come up to the mic. <coughs> so I also am familiar with um, WPFW through uh, the Soul Conversations mm -hmm. that um, BJ YZO, Derek, and uh, Kim Washington would do. And and, you know, there were a couple of times I was able to come through and sit in and just, you know, really watch the hard work of, um, you know, these folks uh, that want to bring good music to people, want to bring, uh, you know, artists that you wouldn't hear about on uh, commercial stations. And, you know, I think stations like WPFW are awesome and valuable because they are an alternative to the commercial noise out there. You know, if you want to get put on to some new music, 
or um, just, you know, local artists, uh, you know, this is a station to tune into. And so, you know, whenever you have a gym, you do what you can to, to try to preserve it. So let's preserve the BPFW. I was actually having uh, a conversation um, while we were waiting for the program to start with one of the volunteers on the phones. And, you know, we were talking about our friends and how in our personal circles at times it can be a challenge to get them to fiscally, monetarily invest in, you know, organizations, nonprofits, radio stations that bring the culture and the art that they want to see, but until they don't start to value it until it's gone, and then that's when it's like, oh, well, what happened to that program or what happened to this organization? It's like, well, remember when I was asking you to give that $5, that $25, that $3 or whatever, um, you know, it's real. You know, we, we, we definitely can use the, the cultural support and the ideas and the concepts, but without the fiscal movement and the monetary movement behind it, we can't sustain this brick and mortar and this programming. So we would really, really value your donation. It's always grateful, man, because it's all, like the, what's been mentioned before, it, it bears to mention it again, the, the commercial, the radio palette period is kind of uneven, and it's part of WPFW's responsibility. It's a, just a continuous process to try to even out that palette as, since when since uh, the cipher started, so you know, con um, just continually appreciative of, appreciative of that. Also, being appreciative of understanding what the purpose of Pledge Drive, what it's for. Being a young kid watching PBS get interrupted, didn't understand it back then, but understanding I'm about it to now. Hear that. Yeah, I'm, you, I understand it now because I'm a part of that. Interruption, it's a understanding, it's a man, it pretty much something that has to happen in order to keep the lights and bills paid. No doubt. So, my name's Mozzie. You probably won't hear my voice again. I'm here with Words Beats in Life, Alan King, Benny Heron, and DJ Machete. <laughs> Then the lights got dim. Then the words of the legendary God Rock Kim.